Breaking news, everyone. This is not live, but we've got good news coming our way. The BBC are going to be doing a first time ever. I don't think it's been done in soaps until fucking the, the writers on other soaps quickly get to the phone and contact the companies to fucking do this as well. They are doing a live episode for the 40th, for the 40th anniversary. And it's going to have some, it's going to be live. And it's going to be a viewer's choice for a, a lot. That is indeed, that is indeed what a live episode means. Um, so yeah, it's a big fucking revelation. Everybody, I mean, I've seen it been floating for a while, everybody going, you know, when's the next time they're going to do a live episode? What's the, is it going to happen? Is it, re is it reasonable to do? And they've done two sets of live episodes in the past. They did the Who Killed Archie one, where obviously you learned that Stacy was the person who killed Archie um, on the 19th of February. And then they did the live week, where which has been described as a set of five EastEnders episodes, including live elements, which I don't know if it was all live because I didn't fucking watch it. But obviously... Obviously, the famous fucking thing comes along where you have Joe Joyner playing Tanya and she's talking to Jane, Laurie Brett, and she goes, how's Adam? And then you see, and then it cuts to the fucking Jane's face and she's like, Ugh. <laughs> and then you also have, you also have uh, Jack who went on record saying, oh yeah, I've done loads of live stuff. And then, then he's like, fucking <laughs> trying to struggle to get his words out. Um... So the live episode's going to be really exciting. I, I see, I don't like the live episode. For some reason, I have to watch it live. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Well, live stream happening, but we'll be watching the fucking 40th live anyways. Come on. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> don't reveal the plans yet. Um, but yeah, uh, no, do you want me to read through this article? Or do you, know you want to talk about more of the stuff uh, first? Do you know what's meant to last? We time travelled from Christmas 2024 back to September. Who can fucking believe that? Ooh. Yep. Um, I can read the article um, if you want me to. I'll read it. All right. Uh, just follow along. EastEnders is going to go live for a full episode as part of its celebration for the 40th anniversary, but this time with a twist, as the audience will have the power to decide the outcome of one storyline. And a first for the soap. No, this is a first for the soap, so wait till Connection Street gets a sniff of this. Fucking next, next Tuesday. Holly Oak's like doing it. Holly Oak's doing it. Next two, fucking next week, you just see five announcements by five different fucking. I mean, shows. it's like our last year. It was like bloody hell, East End is doing a Who Done It, and then Emma Dale and fucking and Coronation Street also did a Who Done It that year, and Holly Oaks as well. Everyone did one last year. Um, in our first for the show, the anniversary week will have an additional twist, an added twist to include an interactive element where the viewers will be able to choose their desired outcome of a love story. Okay, so oh, just a zero in on that. It's a love story. So let's suggest who it will be. Anna and Freddie. Uh, Anna and Freddie, Peter and Lauren. Um, who else is really up here for a love story? Because you want it to be like a wholesome love story, right? You want it to be something that people actually believe in. So it's not going to be Sonia and Reese. I'll be real with you. It's not going to be Sonia and Reese. It's not going to be like George and Elaine. It's not going to be Junior and Cindy. It will likely be, I don't know, because the way they're describing it, it's a very Chris Clenshaw wording. The anniversary week will have an added twist to include an interactive element where the viewers will be able to choose their desired outcome for a love story. Like, uh, and then I suppose I'll read more just because it adds the extra context and allows my opinion to continue. Whilst those in question currently remain under wraps, their fate will remain firmly in the viewers' hands and the outcome will play out during the live episode as the cast and crew will be set to adapt the scene to portray whatever result is voted by the public. So I assume it'll be... I assume it'll be the... Uh, it'll probably be like three quarters of the way through the episode. So you do the poll and they get the answer. So you do that. But yeah, the, it will... You will... And also, obviously the viewers' result will be final. Brexit means Brexit, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whatever we decide will be important. Now it will be interesting to see if they gauge the temperature right. If they understand what they want to do, like they need to know what the viewers want. Because if they don't, and it's like, oh, do you want to see Reese and Sonya die? Die. Number one. Number one. It's 
ah, oh, well, we had this really good storyline for... So they're dying now. Obviously, it's not going to be that. It's just, do they get together? Do they break up? Do they move on? Maybe Bobby will be involved in a way, but I can't... I don't remember when his exit was planned. I mean, they did say his contract ends at the end of the year. So there's a chance he could still be around till February. I could be making that up, but I'm 90% sure it said his contract runs out at the end of the year. Yeah, but, if, but, but then if it's in the viewers' like, fucking hands, right? <laughs> and, and then they don't want to sign Bobby Beals after back a contract. And then February comes around and it's like, do Bobby and Anna stay together? And everyone goes, yes. They yeah, but they're not going to fuck themselves. It's it's not going to be a fucking lane like, does Den Watts return from the grave? Yes or no? Yes. Obviously, they're not going to do that. It's they're gonna they're gonna control the outcomes. It's I... like it's like when when you go when you go to the kids. Oh, kids, what do you want? Do you want do you want chicken nuggets or chips? Do you want potato waffles and beans? Obviously, you have both in the fucking fridge ready to go. <laughs> You're not like going, oh shit. All right, t d dinner will be on a, an hour later, guys. Just. I just need to go to the shop real quick. They're not going to fuck themselves into a corner with this. Like, I, I, want, I want something controversial. I want to set the world on fire because I want... This will divide the men between the boys. John, make it a Johnny and Callum love story. See the stands implode. Because, because I'm just imagining... You know, like, how when, whenever, like, you're in the military and, like, you invade somewhere and you just see, like, the fucking poles, like, pop up. I'm just like imagining fucking just it's two geese sat at the fucking BBC headquarters like fucking 50% no. <laughs> like just... uh, it, it, it appears people uh, thought out a third option. Bring back Ben. Unfortunately that was not on the poll and we will not be doing that. Thank you very much. <laughs> just, just two lads sat there like oh fuck. <laughs> just, fuck. But yeah so first and foremost once just to recap though the live the live episode will be a big deal not let's be honest many of these actors this is their first real like job obviously you know people do stage work like there are a lot of stage actors on eastenders um but you know the whole thing about acting is it's not live <laughs> like you, you if you're filming tv you're never going live so like yeah sure phil was here and ian was here but how many other Stacy was here? Jack. Uh Jack still here. Denise is probably there. Linda. But like Nah, yeah, I guess she would have been in the twenty fifteen ones. So like how many of these actors are actually prepared to go live and deal with that extra added pressure? Um it's also just it is just one singular episode, uh, which is fair enough. A week is too much. You know, nobody wants a fucking week. Um and yeah, so if we had to make a prediction for who will be a part of the love story, yeah. I would say I would probably say Peter and Lauren. No, no, because you can't you can't put that in the viewers' hands because I I know I know. Or, it, it, or, or it does feel like it would be the love triangle, perhaps if he's if Bobby Bill's still around. Yeah, but but if they put if they put Lauren and Peter get married, yes or no. Like, then Max Brandon can't come back if everyone votes no. It can't happen. It has to happen. The stars have to align. Don't want me having a munch. This the fucking news dropped as I was eating my food. We were done for the day for hours. Bloody hell, there's a news article. Fuck, you know. And he gives guess out guess we're news reporters now. And he gives out to me rather than lunch when I'm, when I'm fucking, when I'm doing it. Um, That's the first time I've done it. But yeah, do you want to read on further? Uh... Chrissy Crenshaw, executive producer, says the live episode of the 40th anniversary is a milestone event for EastEnders, and we have been planning this uh, this week for a long time to ensure a week full of drama and surprise. In fact, as our regular audience will know, we've already seen the return of familiar faces and many more nods to history to come, which will all build up to our uh, momentous uh, anniversary week. This time, as well as going live, we are adding an extra twist. The very first time in the history of the show, and as a gift to the viewers, we are going to, we're giving the audience the power to have them stay uh, in the for, choosing, choosing, choosing the outcome, outcome. of one of our, one of our storylines. Whilst we're still keeping the, the, the finite details of the 40th to a chest, close to a chest, I can promise that there will be unmissable big full of shocking twists that will change Albert's way and the lives of those who live in it forever. 
Oh, yeah, fair enough. The rest is just like, oh, bloody hell, they, they did this and that. They mentioned the 2010 for the 25th and the 30th, and also we don't know how the live element will work just yet. Uh, honestly, it's it's a good move. It's a really good move for the 40th anniversary. You want to do something that's never been done before, which is the viewers choosing an outcome. Obviously, it's not going to become a regular thing. It's not going to become a regular thing. But it will be a way to measure the popularity of the show at the 40th, because whoever the fuck votes, you can kind of you can say those numbers and say, hey, look, this is the viewership of this shit. And if you actually involve viewers in something, they feel like more a part of it. It's a it's an easy tactic. It's like it's like doing a giveaway. You know, if <laughs> if you ever want sponsors, do giveaways and then tell them how good your engagement is. When like not when you're doing not when you do giveaways, just tell them how good your engagement is, and suddenly oh fucking hell, that's a lot of outreach. That fucking hell, wow, you're doing well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing sick. <laughs> it was all the giveaway, um, and that's exactly what this element brings. It is allowing the viewers to be to be involved, which you know it'll be like a moment in time. You know, where were you when we all chose for someone to do something? It's a cool way to get viewer engaged and keep people wondering because we always need mysteries in soaps. It's why the sick storyline and the Christmas episode was probably one of the most viewed episodes in the last couple of years because it's like, oh, fuck, what happens? Oh, I've got, I got to wait till Christmas. To, oh, fucking. Yeah, all right. Oh, who is it? Who is it? And they wait till the end. And you're like, oh, fuck it. I was Keanu. Um, you need those mysteries and moments to build to. And finally, the live element will once again show that there is depth in the cast, show that there is versatility in the actors, and it shows that there is a statement of intent. This has not been done since 2015, so it's a, it, it is a big milestone. So, yeah, do you have much else to add to this? I just I can't wait for the Redditors to come in, right, when the 40th happens and, you know, the live episode happens. And then people go, bloody hell, I just couldn't vote. Uh, did, you, did, you, did you want to vote? I, I, I would not. I just, I just thought you wish they, they did every week of EastEnders live. No, you don't. No, you honestly don't. Right? <laughs> no, no, you don't. Um, so I know, I know yeah, some people suggesting, I, I'll just go through. Uh, so someone says Cat and Alfie, Phil and Sharon, Ian, Cindy, Billy, Honey, perhaps. Um, oh, people joking about How's Adam. Someone saying about Martin. Someone saying about Cat choosing between Phil and Alfie. See, I, I, I see. I don't mind life after. I just hate how that one moment where she slips up has become iconic for all the wrong reasons. Let it go, man. How's Adam is fucking dead. Please, we need a new How's Adam. I do. I do hate. I do really dislike How's Adam. Like it's such. Like I understand if she fucked up the entire scene. Alright, what were you gonna say? Sorry, and I've seen I've seen someone say choose the outcome of a love story. Well, that's a bit anticlimactic and boring. It'd be interesting. We could see, for example, who gets killed off in a scene. Fucking hell, all right, Jesus Christ! Because you just vote for you just vote for like Ian or something. That's why because you're a dick. And yeah. then obviously you have the the people wanking themselves off like, oh, you can't say anything in this fucking subreddit. It's fuck off. Grow up. But yeah, as I think, it's, 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 it's not like she fucked up the entire scene. She fucked up one line. But everyone <laughs> yep. just, everyone's like, how's Adam? It's like that joke, like, where, you know, like if a celebrity, you know, he done something in his life, like, let's just say, he was on the Ed Norton show, and he's told Ed Norton to fuck off. And then every, every interviewer comes up to him and goes, hey, 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 you remember when you told Ed Norton to fuck off? Maybe that was 20 years ago. Yeah, but you remember, yes. do you remember? It's like, She's on it forever. Just... I mean, I mean, it's what people do. It's like, ha ha. Remember when you said, "How's Adam?" Ha ha. How's Adam? Ha ha. It's like it's not. It's not even funny anymore. You don't laugh at it. You just laugh because it's an in joke now. But anyways, it's very exciting news for the 40th anniversary. Both a live episode and a viewer's choice. Someone immediately said, it, "Oh, first choice in a soap," and then someone fucking posted a link to a Doctor Who episode in Children in Need. Great. That's not a soap, is it? You fucking melt. Um, but yeah, that is really exciting. What do you think about a future live episode and a viewer's choice? What do you think that viewer's choice will be? 
tell us in the comment section down below. We've been watching Wolford. I'm going to eat my fucking food now. Thank you for watching. Join us in the next one. See you then. Bye-bye.